Oh, there you go. All right. And let's see, what is this? Phenomenon Intel Coastal Lookout. All right, so we're gonna follow the road, hit a left, go all the way, and it's gonna be like the second or third left. Let's go. All right, so this is fun. Like, I, one of the one of the things I didn't really like about Remake is that it kind of didn't feel like I had entire control over battle. I like the fact that we have all of these little little mini games over here to help you um, kind of like do very specific things. I think it's I think it's gonna help out in the long run. Chocobo stay out. That's cool. That's cool. All right, so I think this is the first left. Now we're going to ignore the second one. Stop though. That's amazing. I, I do love the fact that they they added a specific animation for when you're on the back of a chocobo. That's dope. That's dope. All right, so this is the second one coming up. Oh no no, no this is the first one. Okay, so the second one coming up. Uh, let's ignore and let's. Let's go ahead and get to that phenomenon. Oh, this one actually heads down. It's down to the shore. Man. All right. We're gonna come here first. Collect that material back, way back. All right, so what do we got here? It's just like trash. Yeah. So we got these balls. I think they look like something you would string across body of water, like a buoy or something. I guess this is it. There's nothing here. Hmm. Uh -huh. Maybe something lighter. forgot to pick this up and you know what like the the demo was pretty bad when it came to frame rate uh, inside of Nibelheim I'm not gonna lie like the more I played in graphics mode like I'm not too too bothered by the frame rate I think the input lag is probably the most egregious part about it but you know like animations the smoothness of the camera like it doesn't really bother me. Let's do this. You're done. But not my best. Nice.
That's perfect. That's our destination. Interesting. Oh, man. The unfortunate thing about YouTube and the fact that this overworld music is just going to keep playing copyright all of the videos. There's no way around it. Ain't nobody making any money on Let's Plays in this son of a bitch. Alright, so like what the hell was it talking about? Yo, Chad Lee. Oh, maybe that's what it was? Ugh. Ugh. Sanctuaries contain crystallized knowledge of summons, which will strengthen your summoning materia. The path to a sanctuary is lined with guide stones. Break one to release a light that will lead you to the sanctuary. I'm assuming this means that it's only going to strengthen Titan materia, which we still have to get off of Chadley. Examining and a summoning a summon crystal will reveal its memory matrix. Uh oh. Sounds like another mini game. The series of points will appear in order, and you must memorize their positions and necessary timing. Oh god. Oh, that looks awful. <sighs> okay. The points will then disappear, and you must make inputs at the correct times to replicate the matrix. If you succeed, you will weaken the summon in its combat trial and strengthen its corresponding materia. What? Oh. Oh, so this is what they were talking about. So this is actually going to lower the difficulty for Titan. Screw it. I'll take it any way I can get. Uh, maybe, maybe the hard playthrough. I'll, I'll, I'll do it without doing one of these. Had a feeling. I forgot. Alright, so it's... So it's two, four... Two, four, six. Two, four, six, and seven. I was kind of off on that last one. Alright, so it's pretty forgiving. It's pretty forgiving. Cool. Cool. Maybe next time I won't get my ass handed to me. 
Uh, Titan absolutely tore me a new one, man. No way. I have no idea what I'm doing right now as far as combat goes. It's going to be bad for a bit. All right. Let's check out that phenomenon. See what I see. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't expecting the choke butt kick. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Huh. The man with the sword is stumped by a chain wrapped around a chain link fence. Oh, here we go. These dudes up, huh? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, what the hell are you people doing here? Oh hell no! Don't you dare act like you've forgotten Beck's badasses! Yeah, you walked into our home and beat us to shit! We hadn't even done nothing! You big jerks! You're responsible for the destruction of our terrible. I don't remember these dudes. Oh, are we? News to me. Ha <laughs> ha! Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I would too. And it looks like crap. <laughs> but it's definitely pulsing with a ridiculous amount of power. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of guilt. Hey, Cloud. Isn't that... <laughs> Midgar isn't big enough for us. We're taking our operations worldwide. We've gone legit. We're a business now. They're a special kind of stupid. If shit were to take over the world with Mako, then all we gotta do is find our own treasures, and then we'll be on top. <laughs> Yeah! We're gonna appreciate all the things! Hold on! Now you're after our treasure? Hand over what? To be you, we found it! Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it! Hand it over. Now. Ha! You really think that's enough to intimidate the lights? I mean, to be fair, like... We're stealing it from him? That doesn't seem very ethical. Play dead! Play dead! What you oh, so quit dead. freaking out! Now listen here, numbnuts. I got a foolproof plan. I call it... Use a decoy! Yeah! Oh, decoy! Decoy So, who's the decoy? All of you! That's who! Meet back at the hideout! 
it! Deco is dead! You steal. Bandits beat us to it. Completely forgot that we were doing this whole proto relic thing. Okay. Well, you know what? It's by that dig spot. We gotta go there anyways. Alright, we need to head by the Chocobo stop. I can't believe that they get to just jump down like that. Showing me up. Alright, let's get to that Chocobo stop. give Square credit. They did a really good job when it comes to terrain traversal. to a stop before I kill myself. But yeah. Terrain traversal's pretty alright. Slightly awkward in some places. It's not too bad though otherwise. to use a cushion? Okay. All right. So we have that stop. Should I just do... It's the Seaboard Tower. 
I can't travel here, huh? I gotta, I gotta go across the stop. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just do an entire ring around what Bill's farm. Bill's ranch. All right, let's do this. There's gonna be a ton of other things that we're gonna run into out here. I saw this. Just nothing, huh? Now, I did see that question mark in front of my face. Or the chocobo's face, at least. I guess, do I gotta use the... What, that sniff mechanic or something? No, I don't think there's... There's no lighters or anything, so it's... Okay. So where was it at? Okay, but there's still a question mark, though. What the hell does that mean? So, uh, where was it? What does that mean? I guess we'll find out later. Won't take long. So this, this is here. No, 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 that was the sanctuary. I think this is where it was at. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to figure out what, what that whole question mark thing is. But okay, so then I'll be heading over here, Moogle Intel. But we also have a combat fiend intel over here. So we gotta set this up.
Or wait, are th is this just items? <laughs> oh, the medals, that's right. I do like that they just group up like that. You don't have to spam the triangle button. Ah, of course, I'm gonna climb it. Let me guess, uh, the bottom one's gonna break, no? I found that pretty pointless in the flashback. One of the cliff ledges is gonna break. All it did was make this take a little bit longer. Not cool, man. So what is there up to, what is there to do up here? Maybe it's just a shortcut? Pretty sure I saw something jumping up and down. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's necessarily anything here, but I guess it's, oh, I see it. There they are. Yeah, so it doesn't look like there's anything here. You just, you just kind of climb up here. Which is nice, I guess. I mean, not everything has to, has to be something. There doesn't always have to be something here. Just be a nice little shortcut. <laughs> Mellow oak, rare mats. Yeah, so this is actually, this is actually pretty cool. You know, oh, that was weird. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Like, just the, all of the terrain. All of the terrain here is, is valid, you know? Climb up on stuff. There might not necessarily be anything there, but you know, it makes it makes the entire continent or whatever this is feel like an entire space. You know what I mean? It's not some very linear, you know, landmass where you kind of have to go like you basically have to follow just like these um, roads essentially. You know, these pathways. You know, it, it lets you divert. You know see that mountain you can climb that mountain type of type of thing you know that whole like skyrim adage that's dope and here we go another stop and i'm not gonna lie you know they all of these little things i guess you could argue that it's 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 a little simple you know you know that it, it's, it's it's almost impossible to miss these things So yeah, so I guess, you know, having these little bait, uh, you know, chocobo chicks, you know, hounding you <laughs> about these stops kind of makes it so that you can't miss it. So, you know, I kind of feel a certain way about, you know, not being able to kind of hunt them down on your own, but I'm not necessarily mad about it either. 
Screw it, steal. Man, my ability to steal sucks. Help me out, man. All right. Cool. All right, so we're heading the right way. We're going to go get that uh, fiend intel, and then we'll work our way back up to uh, Bill's ranch. But yeah, you know, like all of these little helpers, you know, you have the owl, you have the chocobo chick, and I'm pretty sure there's some other tells as well. But it, it would have been kind of nice if maybe there is an option to turn it off so you know that you could find these things out on your own. You don't necessarily have all of these indicators kind of floating around. And it's kind of, they're kind of in your face too. You know what I mean? It's really hard to miss. It's not like you're looking for landmarks or anything like that, or, you know, you're, you have to investigate the environment. You have this bright yellow chocobo making noises, um, make, you know, performing fast movements. So, what? We doing this? Yeah, we are. Time limit, no problem. You sure you want to fight? <laughs> Should cloud. These dudes hit like a truck. Uh, she's got no spells. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Aerith. You know what? It's that charge and whatever attack, man. No way! Oh, she's got his arrow. That's it, man. Not throwing in the towel. Yo, that charge is wild. to get cure on more of these people man well, that was unfortunate wow that's kind of ridiculous that's kind of ridiculous oh my god Yikes. That was a very impressive battle just now. No, it wasn't. Based on the battle data you provided, I was able to generate a new virtual combat trial. Oh, and I helped too. Feel free to try it whenever the mood takes you. Go on. Oof. Man, guys. That was pretty embarrassing. I don't know if I want to retry, if I'm being honest. You know, that was like a minute and a half. Like, it took like two, three times that. I suppose it is possible. Mm. I have to really up my game though. Okay. So let's let's transmute something then. So the Phoenix Downs Look at this. Alright, so now we can we can do quite a few Phoenix Downs. Uh the numinous ashes though, that's gonna be a well, something. It's gonna be hard to find. So, is it they? No, they don't all require it. Echo Mist. Look at that. Craftsmanship increased. We've got a root. Perfect. Look at look at how, look at all these planets' blessings, man. Give me my thirty XP. The Mist Poison Potion. An increase over here. Oh, look at that. So now we need we need potions on on top of potions. Got to get to craftsmanship five. So that's 120 XP. Smelling salts. We got this. All right. Um, I assume we don't. Oh, I get it. So we gotta we gotta craft other things too. Gotcha. Nice. Okay. So that's what all the ore that we've been doing. Um. Ooh, look at those. 
So this is gonna be, you lack the required materials. No shit. Talisman. Right, right. Get a whole ass 40 for that. Beast pelt. Yeah. Let's get, ah, oh, I ran out of beast pelts. Earrings. Whoa, let's go back. To do list. I don't know what that means. All right, this is perfect. So craftsmanship increased. So we can get our 30 here. So we can't craft anything there. 50, our high potion. Uh, we need some more planet's favors. We got some bones, ginger root, and sage. That's fine. What's your sure with this? To all allies. That's what it is. 350 to all allies. Yo, that's that's kind of dope. That's real dope. All right, so in order to do a high potion, planet's favor. All right, so doing our thing with the transmutation. I'd rather waste the mats on increasing my uh, crafting level than wasting it on just you know, generating all of these, all of these potions and whatnot, I might not necessarily need. So let's, I need a set. I think I need to get some more uh, materia for these folks, man. Okay, some material and equipment. So got a metal bracer. However, Plus three, plus three. Blessed by the spirits of the forest. Grade one. Oh God, they have grades too. I mean, okay. So. Wrist guards. Bulletproof vest. Power wrist guards. Increases strength. I like that for Cloud. So let's see. Fire and Ice material. It's wild that we can have both in a single materia. Um, so Tifa has Chakra. Okay, so this is a summon slot. Right, so she has Ice. So Aerith, she has prayer. Wind materia. Oh, that's right. So she she also has a weapon. Timeless rod, magic attack, minus oh, that's fine. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, so prayer. Okay, let's go ahead and put prayer here by itself. At least I think so. I'm looking for some healing materia. But it doesn't look like I have any man. Okay. I did a whoopsie. Let's let's do auto cast. Let's do a prayer. And the what was the other one? I thought I had like an auto cast and Poison. Barrett has lightning. That's it. I need to buy more materia. That's for sure. That's for sure. All right, her weapon skills, enduring ward. Fire damage. You go, girl. She has no accessory. Defense and vitality, do it. But again, I don't have any materia, so that's kind of worthless. All right, I need to do better when it comes to that. All right, 
we're gonna take the long way so that way we can pick up some material while we're out here. I do wanna to try to focus on getting more levels for crafting. Cause maybe not now, but I probably gonna use crafting a whole bunch later on. You gotta be careful. I can't believe, how did you hit me? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about Aerith. I forgot about Aerith. Dude. How the fuck? Bro. That was my fault. Oh, God. Dude, I still have my levels, right? Yeah. Oh, did I... Please tell me. Timeless Rod. Okay, so everything's there. She didn't even cast, man. You had prayer, girl. So let's not waste any any MP. So let's we gotta do gotta do some potion shenanigans. Got it, got it, got it. Damn near all my potions. Fuck. all my I don't want to waste all my cushions either because I'll be sitting here just resting at every damn stop Four XP, 84 gil. Okay, so so we are earning gil. So I gotta make sure to at least utilize some of that. All right, so uh, the f we have a fork up here. All right, so this is gonna take us all the way back to the dock, right where we found the chocobo. Let's go get this Google in. Let's go get this Moogle intel. Clean up this this area right over here and now is this implying that we can we can go over the edge over here is that what it's trying to say I gotta see what's over at this edge um but yeah let's let's take the right path and we'll get the the moogle intel and then we'll go in the other direction. We'll cut across. We'll cut back across. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Emerald, no. Uh, what I was what I was needing was uh, a ruby, I think. I don't think it was an emerald. Piece of cake. <laughs> Let's 
do this. Not bad, but not my best. Nice. Okay. Chokes, where are you at? There you go. Now I don't, I don't really like it that. It'd be nice if the chocobo, like you know, after a battle or something like that, just kind of walked in front of you, you know, kind of to say, hey, I'm pretty sure that you you want to get back on me after a battle. You know what I mean? Oh hell yeah! All right, so we got some, we got a couple of chests here, three chests. Got a mixed potion. That's what's up. Kick. Does that count? I guess so. I was about to say, like, is this something I can open up later? Where's that third chest? Uh. What is this? Pop inside a mushroom shaped mog stool. Hell, to get a peek at the lives of the fantastic cool creatures who dwell with them. Okay. What in the hell? That's what I'm saying, Barrett. Alright, but we're still missing a chest, though. We're still missing a chest. Um, so let's, let's do, let's do this chocobo thing, uh, not chocobo, let's do the moogle thing in a little bit. We still need to find that chest. Yo, okay. This would make sense. Yo, what's this plume of Phoenix down though? Bottle of either, does this... Does a plume of Phoenix down mean that it's not like a Phoenix down? Oh no, it's a legit plume, okay. statue and everything. Yes? We're gonna help. It's so much fun to come back on their own, so I want you to round them up. And then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy. <laughs> uh, fine. I'll 
See what I can do. Thanks so much, Koopa! Alright, so chase the Mooglets around the field to lure them back into their m mog stool. Or catch them and escort them there yourself. So I can chase them. Or I can catch them. Just be aware they're playful little tricks. Get hit three times and the game will end. Oh my god. Oh no, everything's a mini game. Jerk. So, what exactly are we chasing them into? Dog, did they just throw a cartoon bomb at me? Homeboy th threw out like legit banana peels. I'm not even too sure how to catch him. Over here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Lure, lure them back into their mog store. Isn't that what I did though? I thought I got one of them at least. Uh-uh. Come on, bro. Go. Ah, all right, so. So as soon as I get them out in front, I gotta make sure to chase them directly in. So, uh, uh, uh. No, don't do that, dude. All right, banana peel dude isn't isn't the worst. Oh god. Oh god. Is it enough to just get him inside the fence? Damn it. I hate this mini game. I hate it. I hate it. No! Get back to your home! Uh, bombs and banana pills can be dodged. Good to know. Oh, you bastard. Okay. So it, it's enough to get him at least inside the fence. I don't have to go to the front. Dope. That's good to know. All right, you bastards. Little piece of crap. Come on. Go. Go. No. Yeah. No. Mm. no. Go. Straight. There you go. All right. Oh. Thank God. Why did I even do this? What am I getting out of it? Emporium? Oh, the medals. Open the Emporium. Here you can exchange Moogle medals for cool stuff we found lying around. Everything's great. I promise. Okay, returning all the Mooglets to their Mog Stool will grant access to a new shop at which you can exchange Moogle medals for a variety of enticing items. Helping open more Emporiums will increase the Moogle's merchant rank, which will in turn expand their selection. What do they got? Yo, okay, so I can get a ruby. I do have one ruby. I have an emerald. HP up materia. Earrings which incorporate an orb of HP up materia into the design, allowing the wearer to avail themselves of its magic. Wow. Okay, so Moogle Metal, so this is six, so I can get one of those. 
primer on the proper sword and technique increases cloud skill points. Increases Tifa's. Mm. So Barrett and Red 13 are the only one who isn't going to take uh, a hit on any of their stats. That's a nice metal, though. I will give them that. Ah. Yes. All right. So I guess we'll we'll get the um, the primers first. Manuscripts, whatever. Por folios is what they call them. So we'll do the folios. But that means I have to find more metals. Ugh. Just so you know, there are six more mock stools out there, Koopo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Koopo. <laughs> All right, so we're we're nearing halfway. If that progress um, bar 